Hello, today I'm here with you guys to talk about the Spookfest 2023 event. So, when's the event starting? It's starting October 25th. So, that's probably in a day or two. I don't know when the video is coming out, but check your calendar. Um, there's no set event start time. However, it will just be starting sometime during the evening, probably. I don't know. I'm Central Standard Time Zone, so take that as you will. Evening in America, right? And it will be lasting until November 8th, giving you guys two weeks to experience the event. Uh, as for what it's bringing, pretty typical stuff. TP booster of 1.25, leaving you with 25% more TP, uh, which will be pretty cool. You could stack that with your personal TP booster for uh, a lot of TP, 75% at most. Cool. Uh, as well as a store sale of 1.25 times. 25%. Why did I say that? Um, you guys will be able to get some unique things on the store during this event. That is the spook rank, spook crate, and spook titles. Those are not affected by the sale because they're only available during the event. So their price is finite anyway. You get it. So make sure you get those limited time store purchases as you can. The spook rank will be having rank ups from some other ranks with a relative price difference. So yeah, if you're a rank of demigod or whatever, you can rank up to the spook for the price difference. So that's cool. I'll talk about some other things that spook gets a little bit later in this video. Next up, we have daily missions will be getting a bonus during spook, which will just be a little bit of essence here and there, uh, as well as gift box will be having a unique claim during the event, which means you could do slash gift box claim event. Make sure that command by just doing slash gift box, you can double check that. Um, next up, we have some unique visuals coming from this event when your mod packages look pretty. Uh, hot bar texture on screen, button textures, Popo's getting a nice little pumpkin. The settings backdrop, that means nothing. Not really, it means something, but it's not important to you. The inventory will be getting a new texture. The stat sheet, menu, the crosshair, and it'll be nighttime and spawn. There'll be a unique moon texture. And last of all, a new mod pack menu. So when you boot up, you see this. Um, if you're using Forge, you wanna make sure that you grab the config folder when you download the update, the, the event update files whatever um next up we have cosmetics there is currently or now three t-shirt cosmetics one of them is new this one right here the pumpkin t-shirt last year we ran the skeleton t-shirt and the candy corn t-shirt those will be returning this year as well as the previous two mask cosmetics of pumpkin and skeleton masks you will also see the pumpkin particles i'll go over how you get all of these cosmetics in a little bit you will get the pumpkin particles coming back this year which can still stack on all forms just make all your forms look pretty unique um as well as a all new clothing set which is something that has been done for jolly in the past and some other events but you will be getting a spook gi so that looks pretty cool black red with a little bit of orange accents it's on screen now of course and next up we have spook weekly kit like the three-year anniversary event we are bringing you guys a unique kit for this event which can be claimed every week uh it will reset like so if it's Saturday, if you live in America, if it's like Saturday in the evening, it will reset because it becomes zero UTC, which I believe is London time. So once it's zero UTC, you can see it in the top right of your screen, the kit will reset and you can claim it just like every kit, except this one is once every seven days on Sunday. One thing I previously forgot to mention about the Spook Winkly kit, uh, you will get that kit just by having the spook rank. So all of the previous holders of spook rank in the past will just have access to the spook weekly kit, um, as well as it can be achieved from the spook roll. I did, I think I mentioned that, but yes, it is in the spook roll, the jacko pot, if you will. Uh, next up, we got some juicy stuff. Spook challengers will be returning, giving you guys some above average drops for where you're grinding them. Uh, so one to six star for that, six of them candy drop from challengers will be dropping on all challengers i was gonna say pretty much but it is quite literally all challengers there is some complicated level range stuff going on so here's these the level ranges okay so follow me on this here are the level ranges and here are the percent chance they have to drop candy in in each given range i'll get into how much candy they get after this explanation but here's the range, here's the percent you're going to get from each range, and then there's a mid-range. So if you're in between 
if you're level if you're fighting a 4000 challenger you're going to get the mid range of tier 1 as it's called so you get slightly boosted rates here for that and then jumping over to how much candy you're going to get you'll be getting for the tiers 1 to 5 3 5 7 9 and 11 candy which is more than you were getting last year so this makes the event a little bit easier to grind we're going to get into some of the what you use the candy for in a minute which is also better so guys the event challengers have their own unique percent drops which are again correlated to the level ranges mentioned at the start they use the start range they don't use the whole mid range thing they use start range but then they have these percents uh chance to drop and they have the same amount of candy given so if you're farming tier five you will have an 80 percent chance to get candy 11 candy at that we have the spook candy jackal pot what is that okay well this is a little mm, it's almost like a crate okay but it's a little bit more complicated actually a lot of bit more complicated basically if you put in an amount of currency it's gonna roll through the list and choose a thing okay and however much currency that thing was worth say it's worth say you put in 500 and you get something worth 300 you have 200 more to roll through this list which will leave you it will just keep rolling and obviously um things are ordered on screen here in terms of lowest to highest value which means it will only roll within the range of what's remaining until it'll go zero to 300 um or sorry zero to 500 and it chooses that 300 and then it will go zero to 200 that you have left and just keep bouncing until you're eventually at zero currency remaining so it is important to mention you need the spooky basket which you can get at warp event uh, this little pumpkin here you talk to frogo and you get a spooky basket which allows you to get candy drops probably should have mentioned this earlier but i hope you watched until now you need the spooky basket i believe if you grind and you're not you don't have the spooky basket it tells you every time you get a challenger kill to get the spooky basket so Candy is counted digitally. There's no items for this. The spooky basket just allows you to get it. You're keeping it in your basket, but you can't remove it. It's, you know, just totally digitally. Um, you redeem it digitally via the command. The whole spook roll thing, you do slash event roll spook. And then the amount, an example on screen. And then the rates have been changed. So last year, if you were rolling 10 items, each thing would have a 10% chance, right? They would be even. So, you know, it would be an equivalent to however many uh, items are in the range you're rolling. Now, they're all weighed uniquely, so it's very hard to explain. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna tell you the plain and simple. The rates are better for things you want. You want the particles, the rates are better for that. Now, you don't specify what you want. I just mean that, like, the things you, uh, most people would want are more likely to be dropped. So if you're rolling a thousand, you're more likely the, the heavily expensive things have a higher probability to be received. So that's really it for the spook roll. Um, I hope that was concise enough and kind of explains it enough to you guys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hope you guys are excited for this event. We're excited to bring it to you guys. We got um, some cool stuff coming. Uh, I totally forgot to mention. I'm glad I was rambling because I forgot to mention the spook leaderboard like last year we will be running a spook leaderboard so all the candy you get um, we record the amount of candy you get and then we just obviously multiply it by the value of each candy so if you get like whatever we're gonna tally up how much candy you get and you get rewards based on where you rank in this leaderboard so you should play and get high up in the leaderboard and try to be the very best it's called action okay but I hope you guys are excited. We got some cool stuff coming for you guys. We got some um, maybe update teasers. I don't know. Depends if I release an update teaser or not. Uh, we'll probably have a new dev. Yeah, I just I just realized they have those percents, but there's five of them and there's six challengers. What the fuck's going on here? Ooh, you suck!